The Dutch Safety Board has released a preliminary report on July's plane crash over eastern Ukraine, which killed almost 300 people. Let's get details now with RT's Paula Slea joining us live here. And uh, Paula, can you run us down the main points, please? Well, let's not forget that this is a preliminary report. It comes less than two months after the plane crashed in eastern Ukraine. The investigators say that they can conclude only that the plane disintegrated mid-air and that it was probably caused by structural damage of high-energy objects hitting the plane from outside. At the same time, they say there was no distress call given from the cockpit. There was no indication of any kind of technical problems or problems in the way the crew handled the whole incident. The report concludes that a lot more research is going to be needed for conclusive results to be reached in terms of what caused the downing of this Air Malaysian plane and also at the same time how the plane disintegrated. Certainly there is a lot more work that needs to be done. There needs to be, for example, chemical analyses. At the same time, there needs more debris to be removed from the scene of the site. I visited the wreckage and what I found on the ground is that there is still a lot of debris that certainly needs to be investigated.